Alright guys, this is Trigonometry Lesson 5 and today we are going to look at mixed questions. It's going to look at all the trigonomic ratios that we have looked at in the last four lessons. So we need to find the lengths and angles of any right angle triangle. Alright guys, quick reminder again, we need to use this soccer toe and mnemonic to memorize the trig formulas as they won't be presented in an exam make sure you cover up the one you're looking for multiply if they are side by side and divide if one is above the other all right guys this is a quick reminder on how to label the right angle triangles to pick the right trigonometry formulas so let's look at the first one on the left opposite the right angle is my hypotenuse opposite the angle is my opposite and we're left over with the adjacent okay we don't need the adjacent because it doesn't have a missing length or a value on it so we need the opposite and hypotenuse and if you had to select which one of the three trigonometry ratio formulas has opposite and hypotenuse it is the sine formula okay so you're going to choose sine now for the next one on the right again label it so opposite right angle hypotenuse opposite my angle is the opposite and we're left over with adjacent the one that we don't use is the hypotenuse because the hypotenuse doesn't have a missing length or a value so we're using opposite and adjacent so which one of the three trigonometry formulas above have opposite and adjacent that is the tangent ratio so you're going to be writing down t o and a okay and these are your trig formulas okay all right guys here's an example of the missing length that we need to find okay so if you want to have a go at it first that by all means please pause the video now okay so what we need to do is to find this missing length is label our sides to choose the correct trig ratio formula all right so first things first do the easy ones first so opposite right angle is my hypotenuse opposite my angle is the opposite side and we left over with adjacent which one we don't know which one do we not need is the adjacent okay we left over with the opposite and the hypotenuse therefore i'm going to be using sine all right so you're going to write down sine theta multiplied by my hypotenuse over my opposite okay the one we are trying to work out is the opposite so we shade or cover it in and then we have sine angle times the hypotenuse so I'll write that down sine theta times the hypotenuse and now you substitute our values in sine angle 53 degrees multiplied by our hypotenuse which is 9 and that should give me an answer of 7.2 centimeters one decimal place okay now guys here's another example of finding the missing angle in a right angle triangle using trigonometry so first things first we need to label our triangle okay so opposite the right angle is my hypotenuse opposite the angle is my opposite side we left over with the adjacent we don't need the hypotenuse because it does not have a missing length or value to it so we don't need that and we're looking at a trig formula with opposite and adjacent in it so let's look at our trig formulas opposite and adjacent is tangent ratio so we need to be concentrating on the tangent ratio okay so what you're going to write down now is tan angle equals opposite over adjacent okay we want to get the angle on its own, so we need to do the inverse of tan, which is tan minus 1 
keep the opposite over adjacent the same now substitute our values in so to work out what the angle is inverse tan y is the opposite 10 divided by my adjacent 12 therefore my angle is equal to 39.8 degrees to one decimal place about set 3 and 4 you need to complete all the questions that are on this PowerPoint slide and upload your answers on class charts.